we'll get going. All right. Hey, we're at the Music Man booth, Ernie Ball booth, and I'm here with Tony Levin, bassist extraordinaire, and we're going to have Tony explain a little bit about what's going on with the signature bass. How you doing, Tony? Okay, uh, more than the signature bass, I'm very happy to be at uh, the Ernie Ball booth, and uh, of course I've been playing Music Man basses for a really long time, but every year they seem to have new product that's amazing, amazing uh, improvements on the same basses, new basses. So it's a, like everyone else who's here, it's a pleasure for me to check out what's new and what's coming. Cool. Um, the bass you're holding in your hand, can you take us through it, some of the features? Yeah, let me see which one I got. This is a Stingray. I've been, this is a Stingray 4, and uh, this is a reissue of the classic one. The, for bass players, the differences are, uh, in the beginning they had these dampers and they were the strings through the body. So uh, uh, Music Man has finally brought that back, and it does make a difference in the tone. And um, there are subtle things like that. This is also the two-band EQ. The newer ones have had the three-band EQ. So for a guy like me who was playing the bass in the first place in the in the 70s and in the 80s, it's a, a revisit to a bass that's a great bass and a classic sound, and no other way to get it.